do they normally lay? This is a rare Hudsonian emerald dragonfly, and she is laying eggs to save her species from extinction. They are known for their uniquely large emerald green eyes, but very little else is known about them. These dragonflies are under threat from climate change and habitat destruction. And we've come to a remote location in Colorado to discover just how the butterfly pavilion is working to recover their populations. I am Francisco Garcia and I'm the target species manager at Butterfly Pavilion. Today we're going to be doing dragonfly field work. So this is one of the projects we carry out at Butterfly Pavilion. So every year during summer we come to this area near Netherland in Colorado and we just look for specific species of dragonflies. And we're trying to find females so we can get them laying eggs and then bring these eggs back to Butterfly Pavilion to do conservation and raise them until adulthood. Like a kid wearing his <laughs> I could fit another person in here. This is the jar of water we'll put the eggs in. It's special reverse osmosis water, so it has no particulates in it. So the eggs will be able to live freely and be safe. Happily ever after. Happily ever after. <laughs> the main one of interest is the Hudsonian emerald dragonfly, but we're also working with the American emerald dragonfly and the mountain emerald dragonfly. That is so cute, so she's laying one at a time. Here we go! Oh, oh such a cool sighting. Yeah. She's so cute. Every time we see a dragonfly, we go and try to trap it. It's a low chance of success, I have to say. They are extremely fast and very agile little insects. So once we catch one, we make sure it's a species that we're working with and if it's not we release them if it is one of the species we're working with what we do is we mark the males this is a male boy. little boy is it marked little boy uh not marked nice do you want to mark him yes we want to make sure we're not uh recapturing the same ones over and over again so this tells us a, if we catch one, that it's one we've caught, and perhaps if it's a female, gotten eggs. Um, and it kind of tells us generally um, what the population is like. If it's a female, we're gonna grab them, grab her gently, put her abdomen in the water jar, and start popping it very gently, and then the eggs will be released. Once that happens, we release the females, and then we have some eggs in the jars, which we will bring down to Butterfly Pavilion to run our conservation project. Hudsonian emerald dragonfly is listed as a tier number two species of concern by Colorado Wildlife and Parks, which makes it a very important species to work with because even it's not endangered in the country, it's a concern species in this area of Boulder. They are notable for their beautiful green eyes. One of these things are the use of pesticides. So that's clearly having a toll in all the insect populations out there. So this is one of the problems. Oh, hey, I got an emerald here. Great catch, Alex. Oh, they have a female. Do you want to go? So then we're just going to have her abdomen there. Is she laying? Mm -mm. Come on. Yeah, now she's laying. OK. You see the eggs? You see them? Yeah, I see them. She's laying the eggs. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh my god, so many. It's like Christmas. <laughs> like little snowflakes. Don't think it's so pretty. <laughs> like little snowflakes. Raining down. Emerald dragonfly eggs have a low rate of survivability in the wild. And the butterfly pavilion is working to improve this rate by rearing them in captivity. It is here at their facility, where they achieve survival rates up to 10 times greater compared to their natural habitats. My name is Sarah Stevens. I am the director of animal collections here at Butterfly Pavilion. My job is overseeing all of the animals that are on display, as well as several of our research and conservation projects. 
after we capture eggs in the field, uh, we bring them back here and they go into our Dragonfly research system. This is one of our 2022 Somatochlora semicircularis, so the mountain emerald dragonfly larva that we've been rearing here at Butterfly Pavilion. We collected these eggs from a mother back in the summer of 2022, where we then hatched these eggs here at Butterfly Pavilion and have been rearing the offspring since then. When it comes to being a dragonfly mom, caring for dragonflies here at Butterfly Pavilion, there's a lot of time and energy that goes into caring for these animals. They are usually getting fed and water changes three times a week, which can be a big task when you're dealing with the number of individuals we are sometimes dealing with. Certain clutches of eggs can be in the hundreds, which means every individual baby has to have its own enclosure. That's because our our dragonfly babies do not play nice with each other. They will sometimes cannibalize their siblings, so we have to keep them isolated so they don't cause harm to each other. In this jar here, we have Somatochlora semicircularis eggs. These eggs, the little goldish brown dots here that you see in the vial, are actually from our field work this year in 2024. The success rate of dragonflies in the wild is on average only two to five percent making it to adulthood. When it comes to the emerald species of dragonflies that we're interested in here at Butterfly Pavilion with our dragonflies that we rear in human care, we can get those numbers up to 30 to 40 percent survivability, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's 10 times more than you can get from the wild. Working here at Butterfly Pavilion gives me the opportunity to know that I am getting to do something meaningful and impactful every day I'm here. Whether it is helping our guests learn about the importance of invertebrates or helping rear species of concern for reintroduction into the wild. Everything we do, every action that we take has a meaningful impact on improving the world that we're living in. Great catch, Alex. By prioritizing the conservation of invertebrates, like the Hudsonian emerald dragonfly, we not only safeguard a unique species, but also preserve the intricate web of life that supports entire ecosystems. Protecting these small yet vital creatures is essential to maintaining biodiversity and the health of our natural world. Who knows when? <laughs>